Hey, 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 thank you to the patrons. 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 Hey, 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 patron. oh, sorry. <laughs> that was awful. Should I do a little song every time I do a Patreon thing? Thank you to the patrons. Welcome to this video. We're going to have fun. That's an order. Uh, my name is Kiko One. Bip. There goes the logo. Welcome, folks. Uh, this is an impromptu video. This is kind of a weird video, but we're going to have some fun today. I thought I would break down this track I'm working on uh, layer by layer. I'll play you the whole thing as it comes, and then I'll talk about it and stuff, and maybe we'll make some changes yeah you know whatever anyway so um let's get started just let you know uh i'm using the nord lead 2x and the profit 6 you can't see them they're to my left i should really have a another camera set up but i don't have another camera anyway here we go here's the baseline let's get started mm. oh hey hey this is the nord yeah. Some Beyonce stuff here. Hey, Prophet Six. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, here we go. Gonna solo in a second here. Hey, hey, not too bad, huh? Pretty, pretty interesting, huh? Pretty different, pretty weird. So let's break this down. What, what am I doing here? Well, this track seems to be based around the bass line. This is a weird bass line. Uh, usually my bass lines and my drum patterns are kind of more interspersed, but this one, everything in the track is supporting this bass line. Okay, this bass line is the weird uncle who never quite got it together. And everything else is his family. So let's break it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have... So it's very straight ahead, very matter of fact. It's almost like Seinfeld, actually. Now that I'm listening to it, this sounds like Seinfeld. Wow, Jerry Seinfeld, I owe you a, uh, I owe you $10. Sorry about that. But, um, basically, I don't know what I was going for, like, duh. What, what are the chords here? Uh, let's see. Uh, so it starts on D3. Sorry. And then goes up to G sharp. C sharp. And then F sharp. And, th and then it just kind of does that over and over again. Well, then on this part, it goes from D sharp to G sharp, C sharp, and then down to uh, F sharp and F. Okay. Sorry about that. See, I, I, I compose these lines, but I don't know what notes I'm playing. So it's kind of weird. Anyway, so it's kind of weird. That's a weird bass line. Then we have these chords, and these are very straight ahead. This is the Prophet 6 again. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 
you know, very like on the beat. Just not not trying to fight with this too much. This is doing the flashy stuff, and this is just here for texture. You know, it's here to fill out the sound. Because if it was just this, it'd be kind of boring. But now we've got, you know, chords. Uh, so that's what that's doing. And then these drums, you'll notice that they're very basic. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ba-bomb, you know, dun, 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 right? Um, it's these hi-hats that make them sexy. Because there's, there's like no swing on the kick and snare at all. But the hi-hats, listen to these hi-hats. It's like Beyonce is shaking her shoulders to this. So when you put them all together, or at least at least this part, you know, it's very straight ahead. Um, but once you add the bass line back in, it's... Oops. Sorry about that. You know, now one thing I'm curious about, this is all MIDI, like this is, uh, I haven't recorded it yet, so I'm curious what it'll sound like, because right now it's, you know, we're at 106 BPM, what would happen, just, just, you know, what would happen if we dropped it down to like 92? Okay, so we were playing the song at 106 BPM, let's hear what 92 BPM sounds like, just for shits and giggles. Oh my god, I was I was swagging too hard. I got swagged out. Good lord. I was vibing. I was all vibes. <laughs> As you can see, it completely changes the feel. Cause then let, let's compare back to before. Listen to before. It's too fast. It's too fast. And this bass line is way smoother, way funkier when you when you're at Shit, bitch. Yeah, what's up? You know, this is a mean muggin type beat now. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I think I'm going to keep this at uh, 92 BPM and uh, I'm going to add stuff to it. And that little solo of this, you know, this is all BS, but, um, but, uh, I hope this was entertaining. I want to keep this as kind of a short video, you know, um, but uh, I hope this is... Let me know if you guys want me to do more of this type of stuff. Breaking down how I make beats. Because I think... I, I thought about doing a full FL Studio tutorial or music songwriting tutorial. I'm like, that doesn't really work for me. You know, and now we'll do the quarter note shuffle. You know, it's too... It's too... I don't know. Too proper. My This way seems to work better for me. The kind of funky, you know, hey, this is how I make a track. And this is my thought process. <clears throat> and I think it will work better for more genres, you know? This is kind of universal stuff, making space for your bases or whatever, whatever the element you want to feature. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, I want to say again, thank you to the lovely patrons, High Powered Art, Real Winslet Fan, Ronnie Brown, Crimbulo Nimbus, Sound Graffiti, Zeta, Caroline, HC Vibes, J Reviews, Venny and Cowsnap, The Great Scrap Metal, and T Dirty. You guys are the homies, and um, also, thanks to everyone on Twitch. You guys are so nice on Twitch, and uh, TikTok is actually picking up a little bit. I'm surprised. I'm surprised with the TikTok. I sound like an old man. Uh, okay, that's it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, maybe I'll do a sequel to this.